Alright guys, let's go. I think bunch back in the last test of the boss. Let's turn it in both. Get out of the lab. Watch the curve! Now here's the first carry from Amir Abdullah. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. Sometimes you get just a little over eager defensively when you've got people backed up because the mentality is to attack, to take the ball away, or at worst, just keep them backed up there for your own offense. They actually use their aggressiveness against them on that one and hit them big. Absolutely. Had a pin on the two. Not anymore. So, so after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Back to throw. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now back to throw. That's caught by Trevor. And he'll be corralled well off field right around the 40 yard line. Now the rookie from Boise State, Alexander Madison. Sua Cravens up to make the stop. I call that a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Well, run again. This time it's a duel. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And that's caught by Smith. Yeah, this is going to be another first down as they make the tackle at the Broncos 29 yard line. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with them in the production meeting with them to talk about this, say, hey, you know, you guys got to come out of the gate. I know I offer my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem to want it. You know, you get the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. His throw caught, and about the five. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They'll try to run with Madison. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. Yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines on the pass. And he'll get it! Touchdown, Minnesota! It's their corner. I'll take that. They start the drive with a duel. As he's going to lose yardage here, back to his own 18. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Second and 11. Oh my God. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's, that's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to change possession. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. Oh no! Hey guys, sorry about that. I heard something in the kitchen, so it was on my mind.
They run with a duel. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. Mm. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands, having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. It's a six yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Second and four. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off, but brings up third. Can't give some credit there, able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and get some type of pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. And he's able to get it to the 33, good enough for a first down. Good slant there, gets him the first down, six yards on the play. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 nothing ball game. And a reminder, once we have time, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Trying to go back again to Adam Thielen, and that'll bring up second down. Second and ten. And this is going to be a little first down as they make the tackle at the Broncos 43. Back to throw here. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. It's Chris Harris with a pick. He's in it. He's in it. He's in it. Ready, Rick. That's good news. <laughs> Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And inside the 20 before he's put it down. 17 yards, first down, Vikings. We have a big chance to get in Let's see who this is on. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? At the one yard line. One yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. That's going to run really, really well for the guys who threw it. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Drop it to throw. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Mr. Stephon Diggs is a tender receiver. But now it's third and goal. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively? Keep, keep them out, out of the end zone. zone. Force, force the incompletion, force, force them into going for three, three and not giving up six. six. Third down, down and goal, this Denver, Denver defense, defense trying to hold up for one more play. Fighting for the end zone, he lost the football, it's out. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. As his guys are in for six, and the Vikings are gonna widen that advantage. And that'll give them a two score lead here, but Oh, it's uh, Elton. Nice. I'm proud of it. going out, though. So. I'm happy. Come on. Come on, we can do this. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm going to stop. No. This is a good one. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yep. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Over the middle, he's got to try to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. They're going to look to throw. It's complete to Diggs. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. 
defense. Last catch short of the marker by just a yard. Leaves him with a very manageable second and one. There's a duel. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that happens. It can be somewhat predictable. You know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Good dig, good ball. The setup of the ball. And he's able to find a dig. And this is going to be another first down as they make the tackle at the Broncos 22 yard line. He's such a good round runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? That the better a round runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. So after the incompletion, second and 10 for the 22. They'll look to throw. He's got the connection over the middle of the digs. Catch number 44 of the year. It's a first down. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. They'll look to throw. The quick slant caught. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Stephon Diggs. His sixth touchdown of the Hopefully, I don't screw up this time. Very conservative. The Prince won the game. Unless I screw up. Unless I, I screw up like I usually do. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Derek Wolf there on the tackle. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To, to me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeout in order to get the ball back and try to score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at your two-minute warning. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Master, you said big third down. I put the word big in capital letters here. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving that since he's got a first down. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get your reset. And you have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Ben, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's, let's face it, that's going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. Going on the ground with Madison. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. I knew it. I knew it. That one's on Garrett Bradbury, the first center taken back in April's draft. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Following the penalty, he'll do it. 23 yards to pick up there. I have to chuckle on myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I can be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass to the here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. You've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. There's a time to shine. Nothing else to look like. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. A duel. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. Now the Broncos are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. I'm going to, um, I'm going to defend, uh, 
Big Ortiz. He'll drop it to Flo. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's over. They'll start on the ground with Madison. They'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout. As they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Another carry now for Madison. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lips here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Oh, man. So the yeah, final seconds have ticked, ticked away in this Minnesota North victory. Place. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that can appreciate you from the time you're playing little league ball. All the way up through. And then wow, they closed them out with a big, big anyway, time performance down the stretch.